Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your uh, daily general energy reading. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. That this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, that is the message for you in that moment. Keep in mind that when you're watching any of the readings here on my channel or any other channel I suggest, um, I suggest that you pay a cl close attention to the title as that's most likely going to give you information as to whether or not the reading may resonate with you. Yes? Okay, well, a very happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, I am so very grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for allowing me to read into your energies and to help to support you and guide you on your journey. And thank you for being here with me on mine. Yeah, I really, really appreciate you guys. All right, kids, let's get into this here and see what we've got for your day. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve our highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energies we need to understand at this moment so that we, we may better ascend, expand, and illuminate our lives. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All righty, kids. Let's get into this here. I'm going to give this five shuffles, and we'll see what we've got for you. Yeah, here we go. One. Two. Three, four, and five. All righty, kids. Let's see what we've got here. What's going on? What's going on with the collective today? What messages do we have for the collective on this day? Ooh, we have the Two of Cups. Okay. The Two of Cups did come out in reverse. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Now, the Two of Cups first, it came out, it flew out. But it came out in reverse and I flipped it upright when I turned it, when I, when I picked it up and the spirit said, no, leave it reversed because it's still in the works here. All right. So this two of cups does not in reverse does not in this situation is not representing a rejection of a relationship. On the contrary, it's the beginning of a relationship here. It's in the works. Okay. You have the eight of pentacles here. There is work being done in terms of creating or allowing yourself to create this relationship okay uh you have you have eight of pentacles to judgment here this is a higher calling this is the universe sounding the alarm saying okay it's we're, we're ready to go let's start manifesting let's start doing this it's causing people to wake up this is a wake-up call for sure this is an awakening for sure which ultimately down the road is going to lead to a partnership two of cups whether that be a romantic relationship with someone in the external or the balance of, of masculine and feminine within you two of cups your own internal relationship with yourself eight of pentacles here is saying that the work is being done or you're being called to do the work in terms of getting this relationship together all right with this you have the seven of pentacles the six of pentacles the king of cups the two of swords and the world Okay. Give me just a second here. I want to continue reading these bottom of the deck energies before we get into the cards that flipped out. Actually, no. 
because there is a bit more of a story here, but I should actually, let's talk about this first. So you have the two of cups here, which is in reverse. You have that with, <laughs> you have that with the ace of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the empress and the lovers. There you go, you guys, this is beautiful. All right, um, so for a lot of you here, I feel like this is the divine feminine. For some of you, it's the divine feminine here, the empress, um, having talking about having made a choice. You know, this is the narrative that we've been talking about, especially within the Twin Flame um, collective recently, about the divine feminine choosing to go in a different direction, making the best, the right choice. Sorry, guys. Hold on a moment. Oh, never mind. Sorry, uh, I'm getting a, <laughs> I'm getting a phone call. Um, but anyway, uh, making the right choice for herself. Okay, making the better choice for herself, the best decision for herself. Okay, choosing to move into in a different direction, choosing herself over choosing others. All right, the lovers here, and that's creating a new opportunity. This is a level up page of pentacles, moving into a new state of being in which a new opportunity is able to be taken advantage of or taken into account. Um, uh, with the seven of pentacles here, which is a harvest, I feel like uh, there's, <laughs> this is very similar, very similar. Um, I feel like there is a choice that has been made here and there is a brand new harvest that's coming into play. And this is the seed of that new harvest that's being planted. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. You're in a new environment so that you can have this brand new harvest, so that you can have this new reality, this new relationship within yourself and ultimately externally to yourself, okay? Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, King of Cups. Now, here's where the rest of the story continues. Um, Seven of Pentacles is the harvest is figuring out which direction you want to go in and uh, how you want to proceed. Is this harvest that you have in front of you, is this exactly what you want? Is this exactly what you need? Or do you want something different? And I feel like for the most part, for the most case, something different, something new is required and requested. And thus, whatever you were growing, I guess, was uprooted and the, the soil has been retilled and now you're planting a brand new seed or a bland, uh, you're, you're creating a brand new harvest. And that's a harvest that is much more uh, reciprocity oriented, six of pentacles. But this was a, this, there was a need to make a very mature, emotionally balanced decision here, king of cups, and to not ex focus on the external anymore, two of swords, to go within and thus close out the cycle, the world, okay? And recreate yourself with the page of wands at the bottom underneath that, yes? This is a very, very beautiful energy for you guys. I really love this, I really love this, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I want to get um, an oracle card to close out this part of the reading here. And actually, I'm being called to use the Moonology deck for this part. Which actually, now that, now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense because there's a big cycle that's closing out here and there's a new one that's starting. Five shuffles, one. Oh, four. I'm sorry, four shuffles. One, two, uh -oh. two, three, and sorry, felt like I was getting bit. <laughs> four. All right, so closing oracle guidance here for this section of the reading. Please, spirit. Woo! Okay, they said take all of that. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you have luck is on your side. All right, now, here are the conscious energies. You have nothing will come of this situation. 
okay so this actually i feel like is what is the energy of closing of the closing cycle right nothing will come of this situation that is exactly what you have decided or you, what you have come to understand for yourself you also understand that nothing is yet set in stone that's true but you're walking forward towards it confidently is what i just heard and then finally there you have you are very close to achieving your goal excellent i love that now energies of the coming cycle step out of your comfort zone the end of a tough cycle approaches communication is key your dreams need a practical plan a new romantic cycle uh, begins. And finally, a win-win outcome is forecast. That is quite beautiful. So your dreams do need a practical plan. But see, that's what you're working towards right here, right now. Eight of Pentacles. That's why this relationship here, whether it's internal or external, although quite frankly, I do feel like it needs to be internal first. But that's why this relationship is still in the works. Make sense? I love this. All right, you guys. So at this point, this is where we would move on over to Patreon for the deeper look. However, in honor of Thanksgiving and because I want to show my appreciation for all of you and how much I love and care and and care for you guys and how much how grateful I am that you support me I have decided to put the deeper look in today's reading here on YouTube yes so with that said let's get a deeper look shall we all right cool five shuffles here one now first off to start this is two I do want to mention that the Empress here doesn't just have to be the divine feminine uh, keep in mind, you guys, I'm going to take that one. Okay, keep in mind, you guys, that um, even though this is three, even though I do a lot, I read a lot for the Twin Flame Collective and those on the Twin Flame Journey, you don't have to resonate with the Twin Flame Journey in order to resonate with my readings, okay? The, these readings are general. They are really for everyone. However, there's a lot of Twin Flame ener uh, energy and information out there and people are looking for it, so it does come through. This is four. The Empress here can also symbolize or represent the fertile environment that you find yourself in that is new to you this page of pentacles energy in which you are planting this new seed um, and allowing it to grow okay and then this is five so it's interesting because a card came out while i was talking about the empress um, and the divine feminine and i i feel like it's for that so what is that the knight of pentacles yes 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 this is the energy of you slowly but surely creating a new harvest. And what's interesting about the Knight of Pentacles, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but the Knight of Pentacles has a freshly tilled uh, farm or field right behind him, ready to plant new seeds. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Let's look first at this Two of Cups here. So what is this Two of Cups, please? In reverse, we do have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Okay. Excellent. You have the Eight of Swords, but you have that with the King of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. At the bottom of the deck so far is the King of Cups. And then, ah, the Two of Pentacles is underneath that. All right. So let's talk about this. Uh, first of all, this Two of Cups in reverse to me, it, it also um, said... It, re it repeated this uh, this energy of your plans need a practical. I'm sorry, your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, 
um, someone here is overcoming some sort of fear or is overcoming some sort of um, setback or holdback or an energy that keeps them imprisoned. I feel like with the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords here, this is you or someone else that you're connecting to or maybe both of you coming out of a sense of imprisonment and realizing you really can do anything. You can manifest anything. Nine of Wands in reverse is stopping the fight. Stopping the fight for the past, the old way of being. Um, finally releasing that energy. I'm hearing it's toxic and karmic for some. You have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is talking about uh, the emotional maturity that's needed to look past physical reality okay bring uh, uh, two of pentacles then to the nine of pentacles then to the sun and then to the six of wands that is excellent you guys there is a huge victory coming through here for you um in your realization it's your realization that's a that's allowing you to break free to cut through and to 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 move forward all right to bring this relationship um to fruition okay to manifestation for yourself let's look at the lovers here the lovers please Four of Wands, beautiful. We definitely could be talking Twin Flame energy. Four of Wands with the Four of Swords, very interesting. Okay, the Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Um, five of Cups to the Ten of Swords, yeah, So and the Strength. So this is the energy of putting this cycle to rest, okay? There is, uh, I, with the Knight of Swords here, I feel like there is some sort of battle that's about to happen or that's approaching. Um, and y you're trying to figure out how to move forward in this situation. You have a solid foundation here, Four of Wands. You have a solid spiritual foundation. You have a solid creative foundation. You may even have a solid foundation between you and another person that you are consciously uh, 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 gravitating towards or connecting with, building a connection with, if you have this consciously, okay? Um, I, I feel like Four of Swords, Four of Wands is you trying to figure out your plan of attack, Five of Swords. Your plan of attack on how you're going to move forward, your plan of attack on how you're going to close out this cycle for some of you five of cups to the ten of swords but with strength okay there is um and then the ten of pentacles is underneath strength there is an energy of for some of you needing to really cut ties in certain areas okay and so with the lovers here it, it feels like you're solid enough to know that you need to make a decision to go in a different direction or a better decision for yourself, a, a decision that ultimately serves your highest good, regardless of who that affects and why. Now, this is not a selfish energy. This is not a destructive energy uh, or a, a, an overly destructive energy. This is not a narcissistic energy, an or, overly selfish energy, but this is an energy of you coming to the point where you have to make a decision as to what really truly resonates with you on the highest vibration that you can uh, uh, accommodate right now, okay? And thus, there are certain things that are going to have to be cut out, certain ties that are going to have to be cut. And yes, it's going to bring sorrow, Five of Cups, but ultimately, the all is not lost because a major cycle, a major painful cycle is coming to a close. You're having the strength to close it out. Strength, okay? Let's look at the Page of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles, woo! Oh, Lord in heaven. Look, nine of pentacles. Okay, independence, strong independence is what I just heard. You have the queen of wands, you have the fool, and you have the ace of pentacles, clarifying the page of pentacles. So you're, you're in your good feeling place. You're in your place where it's like, you know what? I know this is the right leap of faith that I need to take because this feels good. You got yourself there. You got yourself to that feeling place of, law of attraction of allowing the situation to develop and come to you okay and you're taking a leap of faith and creating something new for yourself this is so awesome okay then let's look at this ace of pentacles so what's the ace of pentacles please 
six of cups, a soulmate, a partnership, a happy, really healthy, beneficial bond, a uh, past life relationship even, ten of wands, <laughs> nine of pentacles, and the lovers. Okay, nine of swords is at the bottom of the deck, six of wands and the sun. There's a bit of fear here. There's a little bit of fear here, all right? Um, there's probably a lot to undertake, and that might be where this fear is coming from here. There's, uh, there, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, there's a little bit of buyer's remorse energy coming, <laughs> coming through here with the Ace of Pentacles, because you do have the Nine of Pentacles, right? So this is kind of a situation where, where it's like, hey, you got yourself out there, now you gotta do something about it, okay? And you might be, you might be overwhelmed by all the things you might have to take care of in this situation, but don't worry about it. Because ultimately, this is the right thing for you, the lovers, and everything will work out just fine. You don't have to worry about this. Keep your mind out of this energy, Nine of Swords, because you have great victory, great success, the Sun and the Six of Wands coming in terms of this new seed that you're planting, this new reality that you're creating. Okay, you guys, I love this. This is really quite beautiful. You know what, before we close out, I wanna get one more pull on this Empress energy, please. <laughs> okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna stop there. Ooh. Well, the King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. And the King of Pentacles with the Moon is here, but then also the Eight of Wands. So this is a good thing. Um, I'm hearing you don't know who your Divine Masculine is, but he's coming. There's, or, 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 maybe you do know this person already and there's just illusion surrounding the circumstance of manifesting this individual into your life. Or, or uncertainties, or there are unknown, unseen elements that you're not aware of, but things are moving very quickly, Eight of Wands. Also, this is the progress from Knight, of Pent from knight to King, your own progress of from being, becoming a Knight or being in this Knight energy of planting new seeds and starting something new and taking the time and the effort to really go about it properly and then developing into that ultimate king or well-balanced, well-grounded, harvestable state, abundant state even, okay? Beautiful. Let's close out this reading and I'm gonna get Oracle Guidance here from beyond Lemuria. Oh, excuse me. Okay, here we go. Five shuffles here, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, closing Oracle Guidance, please. Ooh! Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, so you have water, you have alignment, and you have gracious receptivity. Beautiful. So water is the is the flow is this is the 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 overflow the 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 uh, allowing the abundance of the universe allowing the abundance of your energy at this point to just flow and not try and hold it back not trying to restrict it okay just letting it flow letting it roll over you and pass through not being worried about needing to restrict it or needing to hold on to it because you understand that the flow here is constant everlasting it never stops it may ebb but it will always flow okay i also feel like this is the water that is nurturing this new i just heard harvestable seed that you're planting okay you have alignment you're definitely in alignment here. 
This is strong, truthful, honest alignment. You do have, oh wow, there are two dolphins on this card. I've never noticed that. That also could be a twin flame symbol, okay? And then you have gracious receptivity, which is what I wanna read for us today. <laughs> well, this is perfect for today. It says, gratitude, being thankful, receptivity, with gi uh, giving without expectation, how worthiness and self-love can affect your capacity to receive and to give without depletion, overflow over obligation, thriving over surviving, gifting economies. If there was a manual for optimal human experience, one of the most potent points would be gratitude. It is the backbone of all spiritual practice. Writing a list of the things you are grateful for has been significantly proven to have profound positive effect on the mind and nervous system. When we shift our perspective from what we are lacking, needing, and desiring, we temporarily replace the survival factor with the resonance for thriving. When we acknowledge the miracle of our existence and how far we have come despite the challenges, it can bring back our inner smile. Gratitude can even, oh, can enliven an attitude of, I got this. One of the best tricks for bringing something into your life is to be already thankful for it, as if it has already arrived. This sets up the frequency of fullness and plenty rather than emptiness and need. As we have mentioned before, like attracts like, but there is a whole other power at play here as true gratitude is anchored in the heart. Being moved by the sheer awe of appreciation and thankfulness is hugely pivotal to the way others and our environment responds to us. The next step is to give from our hearts without being asked or invited. When we emanate a field of new earth consciousness, giving can free us from expectation. Just by knowing that we can all thrive together when, every, when everything flows as a system of gifting. Burning Man Festival is the blueprint of this. Yes, others may take advantage, but if you drop the fear of this outcome, it is quite likely that those of this frequency will also fall away. Holding up a beacon of light this way creates incentive and inspiration to those around you. As their cup fills, it unlocks space within them for resources in other areas. Thus, this giving overflow has a domino effect from person to person. Receptivity is a crucial factor in the art of giving. Those who struggle to feel they have the resources to give may also have trouble receiving. Some do not feel worthy enough to receive, even from themselves. As mentioned, heart energy is key to gratitude and receptivity. Here, it brings us to self-love and how important it is for feeling full enough so that our overflow, so that our overflow doesn't deplete. When you allow yourself to receive from those in their hearts joyous overflow and give from a place beyond expectation or obligation, a whole new paradigm reveals itself you will discover a new way of thriving. Giving and receptivity is a two-way flow. Each allows space for the other. When we are in our hearts, we have limitless resources, and that starts with gratitude. Could gifting economies be the seed for a more joyful new paradigm of making the world go round? Hmm. The divinatory meaning here says, Consider your relationship with gratitude, how comfortable you feel receiving and what you love to give. Are there themes that allow, the jo allow you the joyous overflow of giving without limitation? How can you add this to the lives of others more often, away from the fear that you will get, quote, used up if you give without guaranteed reciprocity? Are there areas where you are overextending yourself? Can you give more from areas where you are stronger and have more skill and capacity? Right now, you may feel you have little to give. If so, allow yourself to receive more. The gift of the sun on your face on a winter's day or a compliment from a stranger. Allow yourself to drink every drop. After all, it is up to you 
how deeply you wish to sink, uh, wish to drink, excuse me, of the gift that is shared. Often we take only a little sip, even when there is so much more we could appreciate. And yet, it is beautiful when you give to someone and they light up and receive it fully. Gratitude, self-love, and self-worth are interwoven with the capacity to receive. Together, they nourish your soul. Step into your heart space by listing all you are grateful for and notice how full you start to feel. From this place, your gifting capacity can spiral upward. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. I love you all so, so very much. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>